Okay, so as you can see right here, I've already went ahead and made my slip knot. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do we're gonna do an even an even amount of stitches. What I have right here is 24 stitches going all the way across. So we're gonna go up, up to 26 and we're going to skip two chains to make it 24. So let's go ahead and chain 26 times. Two is 26. So now we're gonna go ahead and uh, skip two chains and go into the 24th chain, right? So that we'll have an even amount of stitches when we're done. And now what we're gonna do is double crochet all the way across, just one double crochet all the way across. We have to have a foundation for our front post double crochets. So we wanna go ahead and do one row of double crochets. And when I come back, I will have 24 double crochets all the way across. Okay, okay, so we're back, and we now have 24 double crochets all the way across. We're going to go ahead and chain two, and we're going to begin our pattern. So go ahead and turn your work. And in your first chain, you're just going to do one simple double crochet into that first chain. We're not skipping any chains. Just go into that first chain and make your double crochet. In the next two double crochets, we're going to do a front post double crochet. This is going to help create that waffle stitch. So we do one front post double crochet and then do another one right next to it. And if you don't know how to double crochet or front post double crochet, just go to one of my tutorials and it will show you how to do both. In the next stitch, we're going to go ahead and do a regular single crochet, just like normal. And then go back into that front post double crochet for the next two stitches. Next one will be a regular double crochet. And you're just going to repeat that pattern all the way across. Do two front post double crochets. And then one regular double crochet and do this all the way across just repeat this pattern to front and one normal double crochet okay when I come back I'll be right before that last stitch of the row Okay, so we're at the last two stitches of that row, and I just wanted to show you something. So we have those two front post double crochets. We have the regular double crochet, and then we're going to go into our last two front post double crochets. And then chain two. Okay, so now we're going to go in and we're going to turn our work. And start all over again. As you can see, you can see a little bit of detail in there, but you'll see more as we go up a little higher in rows. So let's go to the next row. Now this first, we're going to start off, as you can see, there's a front post purple crochet right here. And we have two regular double crochets here. So you're just going to go into those as normal. Put two, oops, two double crochets here. And do a front post for the next one. And you're just simply following along with the pattern. So the next two will be a regular double crochet. And we'll go back in and do a front post double crochet. Two more. regular double crochets and your last double crochet is going to be a front post double crochet chain two 
chain two. As you can see, it's starting to form that waffle stitch. Just a few more rows and we'll get a little bit more detail on that. So go ahead and chain two, turn your work. So now we're only gonna go into this first double crochet on the end because it's only one double crochet. And then we go into another two front post double crochet. So as you, when you get to the end of each of your row and you chain two and you turn your work, that's how you know when you're going to how you're going to begin your pattern. So we did that first double crochet into the V stitch and that's top stitch. Now we're going to do a front post double crochet two times. Oops, sorry, one time. So we'll do on the first row is one double crochet then two front post double crochets and then one double crochet and then into a front post double crochet so it's one two one two and so forth so go ahead and make that next stitch how you do that you're doing it correctly you can tell the difference between the back and the front so as you can see let me adjust my light a little bit as you can see the back you can see the two front post double crochets. That's how you could tell it's the back. It's a significant different, significant difference between the front and the back. So that's the back, and this is the front. And then the front, you know you're doing it correctly because your front, your front post double crochets will line up. That one single uh, front post double crochet in your stitch is going to line up. That's how you know you're doing it properly. And then your two. Uh, double crochets in the middle they kind of depressed in there and that's what gives it that pretty uh, waffle stitch look so that's the back for that front post and as you can see I'm just following that pattern so the next ones will be two double crochets that's one that's two and your next stitch will be a front post double crochet and you just follow that all the way across. Bye-bye.